get there. Yes, yes. We are on film. <laughs> oh, God bless you. So there's mom, and there's Logan. It was Logan. Logan. That's you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh very yeah. nice. I'm holding it by Logan. <laughs> Here's my little man. Boots. Hi, sweetie. Four girlfriends? <laughs> oh, boy. It was Saturday morning. Logan completely felt fine. He was bouncing around. Hey, Logan! And so we went to play soccer. I just remember he didn't seem himself. He's kind of slow to walk off the field. We got home and took his temperature and he had a fever. That evening, we started watching a movie. Next thing I know, Logan just collapsed. He was unresponsive completely. And at that point in time, I said, can you even feel a pulse? When you have a healthy child, and then you see them laying on the floor in your kitchen, looking like he did, it was something that I just can't even describe. My first instinct was, he needs to go to Children's. He needs to get there as quickly as possible. Logan's case affected all of us. It was one of these cases where you kept hoping that we were going to turn the corner. I couldn't imagine what was going on. It was like it wasn't real. And then when they say they have to open up his chest, it's your last ditch effort. Logan had a condition called myocarditis. The most common cause is a viral infection, and that was the case for Logan. The virus infects the heart, and that leads the heart to start swelling. And when the heart can't pump well, it doesn't get blood to your body well, and all the other organs start to get sick. So it ended up that he had suffered a stroke, suffered brain injury. He would need a heart transplant, and now there was so much brain damage that he wouldn't wake up. So we really had nothing else that we could offer for him to try to, to save him. This is a memory room that we created for Logan. These are some of his last pictures. This is a picture of all of us kind of with our hands with Logan's hand at the hospital. This was basically the day we knew we were going to let him go. I don't think that's something any mother should know when your child's going to die. I pretty much knew it was going to be that day. It's a very scary thing when a child's heart can go from working well enough to run around to being on a heart-lung machine in the span of 12 hours. We have an idea what a heart attack looks like in an adult, but in children, those symptoms are often very different. His symptoms were primarily in his gut, symptoms that most of us would look at our child and be like, that's probably just stomach pains from a virus. I guess that's our big goal with children's is it can happen to any child and how can we catch it earlier? Right now, there is no good treatment. It's basically you put them on support, and you hope that they get better. I'm hoping someday soon that will change. For those things we don't know, we rely on fundraising, on philanthropy, and that contribution, as small or as big as it can be, has led to unbelievable discoveries that has literally changed the outcomes from 85 to 90% mortality to 90 to 95% survival. And when that's a child's life, that's everything in the world. As painful as the process is, there's gotta be more that I can do, that we can do. As a father, thinking about the experiences that I could have shared with, with Logan, that's the most difficult part. Getting his story out is, is a good thing. To help others is what we ultimately want. Because of Logan, maybe somebody else's life is saved, and that would be something that I can't even express in words, really. Happy birthday!